If you are new to selling products on Etsy, one of the main things you want to do is make sure you stop the scroll when your particular product is found in search. And yes, it's important to use great keywords to actually get people to your products using outstanding, you know, t-shirt designs and making sure those designs are dialed in to what is winning in other spaces. One of the extra steps is to make sure you have video mockups on your products. Now, most people on Etsy are not utilizing video mockups, and this is a great space for you to actually make a difference and actually get people to your shop because Etsy actually features your video in the search space. So you wanna actually stop that scroll by having your video be previewed in the search results. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how to go from start to finish with your on-demand design and how to convert that over to a video t-shirt mock-up you can then upload to your Etsy listing and start getting that video being previewed in the search results. I'm gonna share this all with you coming up next. <laughs> So welcome back to the video, my friends. If you are new here, my name is Jay, and on this channel, I teach you how to make passive income online by creating and selling your own products. And so if you like content like this, and then consider subscribing to my channel. And the main focus that we're gonna to utilize today is creating video mockups. Now, Placeit is a great space for all of your print on demand needs. Not only do they have a large category of mockup images for your print on demand products, but they also have a large catalog for you to utilize their template for your print on demand designs. And so if you know you have a hard time creating things from scratch, they have thousands of templates you can utilize for you to start designing your products and actually use this on Etsy. Now, one of the main reasons why I use Placeit is for their mock-up generator. This allows you to take your design and place it right on the product itself with a model in the image and with their technology, it makes it as if the design is printed right on the image itself. And so if you wanna check out Place It On Your Own, I'll make sure I leave all the details in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business. Now, before we jump in to place it to create our video mockups, one of the main things you wanna do is actually have a t-shirt design you can utilize on this video mockups. And one of the main places I go for my t-shirt mockups is Creative Fabrica. Again, I find these t-shirt mockups and I try to combine them with personalizations that I can utilize on this particular product. And so just for today's example, I'm just gonna go ahead and download this image just to share with you how easy it is for you to get a graphic or get a design and turn that into a video t-shirt mockup. So now that we have our design ready to go, we wanna go over to mockups, head over to apparel, and we want to go to merch videos. Now this merch videos is going to give us the option to have different type of videos we can create. Again, all these are videos uh, for hoodies, for tote bags, for all different type of print on demand products, mugs, and of course, as is our focus today, t-shirt videos. Now from here, you can go and select whatever t-shirt you want to do or whatever product you, you want to do. We see the bellless canvas here, but one of the easiest things I like to do is just search up t-shirt mock-up videos. And as you can see, t-shirt mock-up videos, we have it here. So there's a couple of ways for you to access this video. But again, for me, the easiest way just to go into the search bar and just search up t-shirt mock-up videos. So before we jump into utilizing one of these videos for our t-shirt design, I just wanna give you an overview of how to really navigate this space. We see we have over 1200 results for t-shirt mockups, but these t-shirt mockup videos are really broken down into three types. We have the full video of the model in the shot as well as the t-shirt in the spot but we also have this mock-up design where we have this stop motion so it's pictures of the model in the t-shirt in the frame so not full out video but we do have different variations of the model in the product in the shot and we also have the third version where we actually have an image of the model as well as some text features we can go ahead and utilize so what i found to work best 
is all three of these because again you can capture the audience with different type of video formats like we have the full video the stop motion and the ones with the text on it again just test out and see which one is best for your particular store but again all these are great examples of things you can use as your t-shirt mock-up so a place that makes it easy for us to navigate what type of shirts we can find with their tags on the left hand side again from here i can focus on different t-shirt styles i can focus on different seasonal items or even focus on the model i want to have in the shot i have so many tags i can utilize and this is a great space especially if you know you are selling a seasonal item or you're selling a like a mom baseball shirt in our case today then you definitely want to add in these tags you can only see the results that fit your overall t-shirt design now just as a side note Etsy does allow us to use the vertical format video as well as the landscape video as you see here but one of the things that work very easy for me is just to utilize the vertical video as many people who purchase from Etsy are buying from their device their phone and so utilizing the vertical format of this video t-shirt mock-up design is going to allow us to have everything in sync in regards to how we frame up our video and what is going to be visible with our t-shirt design. So this is the video that we're gonna utilize for today's example. Now we do have the option to insert our image here, which we will do in a little bit, but we also have the option to change our color design. I can go in here and change the color right on the spot, but if I have a custom color that I want to utilize, I can actually add in the code here and select that t-shirt color. Now this clip does come with an audio piece as well, but Etsy does not give us the option to utilize audio. So we're just going to select this to be off. And I have an option to add another video clip to this if I want. Go into the Etsy dash bar and go into the listing features. Etsy says that they give us between five to 15 seconds to add some videos in. And we want to aim at nothing higher than 1080p. Now for the video mockups, we'll place it. Those things are already dialed in for us, for us to have the best optimization to our video. So everything will fit well with this one clip we have. So from here, I want to insert my image I grabbed from Creative Fabrica. And again, I want to go in a little bit further and to adjust my image size. Now everything is dialed in well, but what I seem to work best is to actually have my design pushed up a little bit further. Now you might see this ant trail highlighting this box in the middle. This is exactly where we have space to move our design. It's going to fit properly on our t-shirt. Anything that is not in the highlighted box will not show on our t-shirt design. So I definitely want to make all of my adjustments to fit inside of the box that we have. Now, again, I know that things work well when the, when the design is up higher because when it's here in the middle, it's not going to show properly on our t-shirt design. So again, I want to move this up and everything is dialed in here. I want to go ahead and hit crop. Now I can adjust the size here to make it large or small, but in our case today, I want to have everything dialed in right, fitting inside my box, hit crop. And what it will do is that it will show me a live preview of my design before I actually hit play all slides for this to be rendered out for me to download. So I see here that the design look extremely well on our mockup image. And now from here, I can select all slides and be ready for this to be downloaded to my computer. So from here, we just want to double check our image to make sure everything is dialed in right with the overall design. Again, if I want to change the color of the shirt, I can do that here and in real time, it will change it. But in our case today, everything is looking perfect for us to go ahead and hit play all slides. And what this will do is that it will render out the design to make it ready for us to download and upload this to our Etsy listing. So after our video has been rendered, we can see the overall image here. We can hit play and preview this. And this is exactly what's going to be visible on our Etsy listing. Again, one of the key things I look at is if the design is mainly in the shot and is the design properly laid on our product and it is in our case. So I wanna to go to the next step and hit download. Now from here, what place it would do is that it will download this into a couple of different places. Number one, it will download this on a space for our place of account. That means from whatever you know uh, device I'm utilizing, I, I can always go back and find this particular design, but it will also give me the option to download this on the immediate device I am utilizing right now. And so that's what I want to do so I can upload this downloadable file 
to my Etsy listing. So now that we have our overall t-shirt design mock-up saved to our place it, now we have the option to download this to our computer. And I can go ahead and click download and now I have the file accessible to me so I can upload this to my Etsy listing. Now we are in our final stage where we are going to upload our t-shirt video mock-up to our Etsy listing. And so I have this new listing created here and I have of course the option to upload my still photos here. But if I just scroll down to the next section, I have the option to upload a video here. And everything that we utilize in place it is going to go perfect with the requirements for Etsy listings. We know that the video we have created is under the 15 second requirement and we know it is meeting the settings requirement for the video quality as well as the maximum file size so from here i want to go ahead and select my video i have created and place it and because we are utilizing the vertical video format it is going to work perfect for those who are actually viewing uh, the etsy shop on their mobile device now if you are utilizing a different type of video maybe you're utilizing the landscape style that you can go into the crop feature and just crop your video accordingly so that you can have the image and the shot but again because we are utilizing the vertical video we don't have to go to this crop stage we can just utilize the original video that we have and place this on our etsy listing now from here you will go and just complete your etsy listing with your mock-up images and your title and your tags and of course making sure that your price point is dialed in and all the other things with shipping that comes along with your print on demand t-shirt but from here i think we are done with the overall t-shirt design and our video mock-up and again this is a great way for you to stand out in the search results for your particular listing to pop up and to show up for your potential buyer. So if you wanna check out, place it on your own, I make sure to leave all the details in my description box below. Place it is a great space for you to create these video mockups like we talked about, but they also have a ton of still image mockups you can use alongside of designs you can utilize on your print on demand products. So I make sure I leave all the details in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business now in today's video i didn't have time to talk about how to go about the seo part of actually getting people to your listing however if you want to learn my exact strategy of how i title my listings and what tags i use for my listings and check out this next video here and if you want to learn more about how to make passive income online make sure you subscribe to my channel here as always my friends my name is jay and i will see you in the next video